This challenge is called Bitwise Operators. This is a duplicate from another challenge that I did in C++ for the 30 days of code challenge. So if I go here on my GitHub and you see I have HackerRank tutorials, 30 days of code, and then I scroll down on day 29, I have this challenge, it was called Bitwise Ends. And if I click on this, this is in C++ and I have this HackerRank solution. So this year, is the same thing as what you can see here, this solution in JavaScript. So for example, in here, I'm declaring two variables, which are integers, but instead of using the int keyword, I'm only using the let keywords in JavaScript. Same thing inside of this for loop, for this variable A, I simply have the let keyword once again, because you don't need data types in JavaScript. And then in here, I have the max function, to give me the maximum between two values. In JavaScript, we also have that method, but you need to have it under the math object. It's the math object, which is a global object, that's max, and then you pass in the two values that you want to evaluate. The instructions for this challenge, to me, are not very clear. So I had to do a bit of research for that, not for this one in particular, because I've already done it in C++, but the first one, when I was looking at it in C++, it was a bit ambiguous to me. Remember to call your function get max less than k, and then you pass in n and k. And that's because when you drop down the code that they've given you here, they are calling this function get max less than k, and they pass in two arguments. So you can do the same thing here. And if you want to understand why the code is like this, I strongly recommend that you go on Geeks for Geeks and you look at this article here, maximum bitwise and spare from given range. So here, this ends is for the ends operator, which is a bitwise operator, and they explain how you can compare two values. So this is their code here. They give you some code in C++, or if you're done reading this and you want to see how it can be done specifically for this challenge, then you can have a look at my code here if you're interested in C++, or you can also have a look at my solution here, which I'm going to upload to my GitHub later on. So anyway, for now, let's just run this code. Sorry if I don't explain it, but I think it's going to be duplicates because I already have it in another video. So we've passed these two sample test cases. I'm now going to submit this and we've passed all of them. So you can grab this code from my repo later on. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. For now, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.